This week on Latter-day News. Find out how this shiner makes Utah State basketball player Justin Bean look like his ancestor, the fighting preacher. And later on Latter-day News, Elder Christofferson celebrates the 175th anniversary of the Mormon Battalion. But first, the headlines. The world is crumbling at our feet. The skies are filled with gray. The church just dropped the youth 2022 theme song music video, Trust in the Lord. Fires may burn and storms may rage when darkness The video ties in with the youth theme found in Proverbs, trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding. Contemporary dancer Aubrey Mason finds light among others listening or looking at earthly devices in the darkness. As she dances through dark silhouettes, she helps others to come towards the light. You can experience this powerful video on the church's Strive to Be YouTube and Instagram channels. Look at those shooting numbers. Are you serious? And it's not like Justin Bean is just shooting layups, folks. I'm Utah like State basketball player Justin Bean looks a lot like his boxer ancestor. He knocked heads with a teammate in a recent game. Bean wears his black eye as a badge of honor and loves how it connects him to his cousin four generations back, Willard Washington Bean. Willard was a boxer turned preacher when he and his wife served a mission in Palmyra in 1915. You can watch the film The Fighting Preacher right now on Living Scriptures Streaming. And you are on one of the most popular reality TV shows in America. And let's cut! When Anne discovers her reality show boyfriend is not actually real, she takes her broken heart and hits the highway, leaving Hollywood for a small Amish town. There she starts a new romance, but when Hollywood and her old boyfriend come to find her saying he still loves her, things get a little bit complicated. Find out how Anne works it all out when you watch Runaway Romance on Living Scripture Streaming. And that's the headlines. This week on Temple Updates, two U.S. temples announced groundbreakings. First, the Linden, Utah Temple will break ground on April 23rd. The temple is located near 800 East and Center Street in Linden. And the Farmington, New Mexico Temple will break ground on April 30th. Currently, construction workers are busy demolishing an old stake center that is on the site. And finally, on Temple Updates, the Bangkok Thailand Temple continues to rise amongst the skyscrapers to beautify the city's skyline. The temple's cladding is complete, except for a few spires, and there's also a multi-purpose building behind the temple that has twice the floor space. The temple broke ground in January of 2019. And now, Latter-day News ends with the celebration of the 175th anniversary of the Mormon Battalion. It's an honor to give a word of tribute for the Mormon Battalion. It's incredible to think about how much they did and how much they accomplished against such tremendous odds and how hard they worked their devotion to service. Elder Christofferson was in Old Town, San Diego and spoke to members and friends at the church that were there to celebrate the memory of those that served in the Mormon Battalion. In 1846, Brigham Young accepted the invitation from the United States government to help with the war in Southwest America. Brigham sent 500 men to march 2,000 miles from Kansas to San Diego. This is still one of the longest military marches in American history. When I think pioneers, I think of innovation, of having that courage and having that vision and moving forward, right? Not having any fear. Well, we might have a little bit of a fear, but 
to have that courage to say it's okay to come into new grounds. During the celebration, members and friends dress in Mormon battalion garb, wave flags, and pull wagons while marching into San Diego. Missionaries gave service during the celebration, and they found out if they had any relatives that served in the Mormon battalion. One of my ancestors, Levi Savage, was a member of the Mormon battalion. It's a huge honor to be able to help uh, keep his memory alive, especially as he's become someone who I've come to love. Ultimately, the celebration served as a time to reflect on the great sacrifices the Mormon battalion made as they trekked west. We will serve as they did, untiringly, looking out for the good of one another and all around us. This will be a different and better place. So it's appropriate, I think, to remember that on these kinds of occasions and just recommit ourselves. That's the nice thing about anniversaries. You can step back, recommit yourself, and go forward. Next week on Latter-day News. My name is Olivia Moultrie. I'm 16 years old, and I'm a midfielder for the Portland Thorns in the National Women's Soccer League. And I'm the youngest player to play in the league. I've been a professional since I was 13 years old. See how Olivia balances her pro soccer career and her faith in the new video, Faith and the Goal. Come back every Friday for more Latter-day News.